Slowly, Bonaparte and Josephine walked toward the two thrones that awaited them. His mantle, adorned with gold and precious jewels and weighing 80 pounds, was supported by his brothers. He looked, one spectator said, like a Caesar on a Roman coin. A little more than 10 years before, the French had beheaded a king. Now, they were crowning an emperor. Born upon the great tide of the French Revolution and the wars that followed in its wake, Bonaparte had turned his genius as a general and a statesman to the domination of France. Soon, he would turn toward the conquest of Europe. Already, he was planning an invasion of Great Britain to make him master of the island nation that dared defy him. Confidently, Bonaparte lifted the imperial crown. brought it to rest on his own head. Then he moved toward Josephine and crowned her his empress. I am the instrument of providence, Napoleon said. She will use me as long as I accomplish her designs. Then she will break me like a glass. Thank you.